Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So today we are at Hibarius and it is a good uh, world because there's a lot of good missions we can do here. It's a two skull planet. Um, and uh, if you have a look, it's a tropical world. Um, and there's a lot of different factions here. Um, I'm going to, before we go ahead and have a look at the uh, missions that we can take here, um, I want to have a look at the mech bay real quick. I did make a couple minor adjustments. So we've got all our mechs back from repair. This urban mech is down like 0.35 tons of a, uh, or 0.35 tons. That's the only reason why this is here. Um, it's got maxed out armor. I can't put anything else on it, so it's just kind of sitting like this for now. We'll figure out what we're doing later. Um, but the Mian Shen, I d decided I was going to go ahead and um, change a couple things around on this mech just to see if we could get it working a little better than what it's been doing. So uh, I opted for um, mobility option. So um, we changed a few things. I pulled off that PPC that we had in the one arm. It was doing okay, but you know, it wasn't the best. And I moved one of the SRM6s over to the other side, um, put the medium lasers into the arms and dropped in a medium laser diverse optics. Uh, it's got a little bit more range than the regular medium lasers. Drop that into here and a medium pulse laser. Had to move the tag barrage into the side here, but then I was able to fit on six jump jets. So hopefully that's going to give us the mobility that we need in this thing. I kept the ammo the same for the SRM6s. So if we can get into closer range and punish, we'll, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, if this doesn't work out, I might go back to the four SRM6s and see how that works out. But for now, we're going to go this route. So that was this guy. And then I decided to make a few minor changes to the Dervish as well, just to, to tweak out the loadout a little bit more on this guy. And what I went ahead and did was I pulled out uh, the Thunder ammo and the Chaff ammo, which we weren't really using all that often and I wasn't really seeing a lot of results with. And we took out the, the ton of, of um, LK ammo that we had for the SRMs or for the MML5s and replaced the ammo with a half ton of um, Artemis ammo for the SRM and a full ton of LRM ammo. And then with the extra ton, we dropped in the fire control system Artemis. Um, I'm hoping the clustering really helps us out with uh, the damage. This guy's been spreading damage a fair bit. Um, and uh, it's, like, you know, it's not the pilot's fault, obviously, um, but I think with the plus nine clustering, this is Mecco started getting a lot more kills. So that's my goal. Um, I didn't think we needed a full ton of LK ammo. Uh, we do another, have another half ton of um, uh, um, Deadfire SRM, uh, or sorry, um, Artemis 4 SRM um, that we could put in here if we wanted to, but I didn't do that. In order to get the extra little bit of weight, it also drops in some ferrofibrous armor. Uh, so yeah, that's this guy here. Uh, we were, I think, uh, no, we didn't, sorry, I upped the armor a little bit on the Men Shen, that was what I did, but yeah, other than that, that's this guy here. And then one minor change on, uh, where is it here? This urban mech, the missile one, we put, we put the fire control system missile in that we had in the Dervish, just dropped it in here for a plus one accuracy with direct fire. You know, it's not that bad. Uh, bonus critical hit chance, minus 50% minimum range, which is nice. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully this will help out that urban mech a little bit. And that's that. So we have missions for these guys, our Urbies, and for our main lance. So if we go to the command center, have a look what we got here. Uh, so we do have letter of mark, which we can do with the urban mechs. And we've also got this one, which I want to do first, uh, clean out the mercs. Um, it's for the pirates again. It's against Capella. Um, and it's a battle in the Badlands. So I think we're going to try, try this one out at two skulls where we should be matching these guys. Now they said they were going to be dropping a single well-armed lance. Most likely it'll be two. Um, but we're going to go ahead and negotiate this sucker and go full salvage and accept. And take our lance since we're already loaded and deploy. And we're good to go. Okay, night battle. And where are we here? Oh, okay, this map. All right. Um, looks like it is only one lance. They might have reinforcements on the right here. Damn. And I forgot my beach chair. Yeah, no shit, eh? Uh, we normally start out um, down here, but we're up the hill slightly. That's good. Going to give us a bit more... Oh, wait a minute. What? 
is this what I think it is? Oh yeah, we normally start over here. So we're just off position here. Now can we get up here? That's the question. Don't think we can get up this way, can we? We want to be up on the hill. I don't know if we can get up. Who's faster? Oh, we can. Okay, perfect. We want to go up this hill. So I'm interested to see how far... Well, the jump is not as far as the sprint. The Min Shin, but I'm hoping that that extra little bit, extra little bit of mobility, is really going to help it out. Let's get up here. All right, Hopper, keep moving forward, buddy. On my way. Got contacts. Uh, let's not get a direct line of sight if we can avoid it. Let's stay behind the rock. Uh, Min Shen, uh, we need to get in closer. We're st we should be behind the rock over here, too. And let's just move you up. We're going to walk up here. Roger that. Oh, looks like we got... What is that? Is that like a Blackhawk or something? It is. Blackhawk. It's like, what the hell? That's a... Uh, Pixiu heavy tank. Ballistic missile energy. Well, look at that, guys. A pair of light PPCs and a heavy PPC. I mean, that's a good loadout to be against us. It's going to be a lot of damage if we get hit, so I have to take this guy down fast. But that is a nice haul if we can get those. All right. Um, What's up, boss? I think we're going to... Um, Whatever. I'm good. Yeah. We're going to play the game here. Okay, can still only see two. Yeah, I don't know. This guy's really the threat. He's in... Okay, I heard another vehicle. He's in striking distance. Okay, nice. We'll be able to pull down some of their initial missiles. I've got your back. Uh, I hope so. Let's get to here. Aye, aye. Makes me wish we had the uh, SRM Inferno still set up on the um, on the lamb. Let's get this guy heated up before he can really do too much to us. Hopefully he won't fire everything at us the first turn. Nice. Got something you want done? Um, uh, yeah. I do. Get into here. Full speed, no target. Okay, this guy's C3 affected now. We're going to use the Inferno. Um, and I'm going to put the barrage on him. So let's hit him. Uh, should I go with rockets as well? No. Okay, a little bit of Inferno. All right. Um, Engaging dump jet. Let's get over here. And we want to get that tag moved to the top. I think we're going to leave the barrage on because I want to shut this guy down. Yeah, so the last episode I was mentioning that I like to see when you hit tab when you first uh, are selecting opponents that it would select the, the opponent with the greatest chance to hit. In this case, it just chose this mech, this vehicle here, which is not the greatest chance to hit. 
So, yeah, if the people from Rogue Tech are listening, I don't know if you can do that or not, but it should it should automatically target the, the whatever unit you have the best chance to hit first and then go down from there just so you can choose which one you want to go after. But I'm going to use the barrage on this guy as well um, simply because I want to get this guy super heated so he can't shoot at us. Now, he'll probably get one shot away. And there won't be a damn thing we can do about that. Um, Cougar, okay. Looks like we might get some good salvage out of this. Ready for orders. You know the deal. He's got a barrage coming in on him. Let's get out of there. Or else he's just going to include you with it. Just back up for now. See what they're going to do here. He goes on 22. He's got two barrages tagging him. Oh, you're in trouble now. Oh, head hit. That's the one thing I am noticing. The head hits are a lot um, greater now than they ever have been. Last couple versions of Rogue Tech, it was a lot lower for head chance for headshot chances. But now I guess since you can't uh, auto target the head unless you've got the the uh, stuff for that, then um, you need something to give you that chance to hit. All right, let's go after this guy. We won't have enough. Uh, ability like we won't be able to get the entire Blackhawk in salvage but hopefully we can pick up some items from him Commander. all right B um, that's really good chance to hit on this guy Even better on this guy, though. It's a lot of ballistic. I don't know if it's a cougar. It's like 35 tons, I think, or 30 tons. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure. So those might be machine guns, or they could be the um, the Goss ballistic. 140 in the sides, eh? Um... Let's go after the... Uh, we could go after his leg, I guess. Or his torso. He's going to take a, probably a lot of upper body hits. That's really low chance to hit, though. Let's just shoot him. Um, don't know, I'm waff I don't know why I'm waffling about this, but let's just fire him. No. Tag hit. Legs and torsos, it looks like. keep the battlefield open. I'm going to be able to see behind them. Keep an eye on that guy at the back. That's pretty fast for a heavy tank. Beautiful. It's going to back up one. Make sure you turn around to back up. There's no point in walking backwards. Let's tag at this guy. There you are. Going to leave the ER mediums off for now. Just hit him with incendiaries. He's got barrages coming in this turn too. So hopefully we can shut him down. Then we'll pinpoint him. Here they come. Yep. There's a shutdown. That's his turn. Yes, Commander. Um, let's reserve you. I want to get hot shot in there, hit him with some more infernos. Maybe we can shut him down again. See if we can get him shut down. Okay. 
Got them distracted, which is nice. All right, hot shot. Let's sprint it. Either way, he's going to be super heated anyway, so... The heavy PPC, I think, has got a minimum range. So let's get right in here. Get us in the perfect range for this thing. Look at that chance to hit. Uh, Bolt-on rockets are good, too. How? What are we looking here? Um... Hmm... What if we OP him? We could. I don't think we're going to get a good... Uh... Let's just do that. Yeah. Reporting critical hit. Standing by. Okay, let's get down here and engage this vehicle. Here it comes. Yeah. That Blackhawk's toast now, unfortunately. Crap. Hey, what's the paint, pal? He scratched your paint and blew the other guy up, so shut the hell up, dude. Talk to me. What's your problem? What's your problem? Okay, striker. 50%. Gotta switch those on for now. That guy's got some good stealth. Let's use against the striker, using the incendiaries. Here they come. Love the clustering. Take that as a lesson. And I don't even feel like it's a uh, a cheat move either. It's kind of a nice little uh, thing that they added. All right, see if we can do some more damage. Maybe finish this guy up. Here it comes. There it goes. All right, let's clean this up and go home, guys. By. Got time for another mission today. I thought I was going to have to split episodes. Let's get over here. Wow. Well, we're not taking any heat problems, so let's fire it all. What the hell? Guy's stealthy as shiz. I got a C3 on this Mian Shen too, so... Yep. There's a hyper velocity goss is what they were. Take a turn and cool off. Commander. Moving out. Much as I want to kill this vehicle, I think this guy's got to go first. We want to go. Oh, we got dead fire. Slightly less chance to hit, but we might as well use it. Not much different. A little more damage, though. I think we drop, I don't know. He's probably running pretty cool, that cougar. Oh, look at that interception. Beautiful. You've got my attention. At least the guy doesn't have devastating firepower, that heavy tank. Although I bet you it's a, uh, a, a 15 or a uh, 20 um, uh, thunder. Target. 
Warm them up. Not going to help you. Okay. Ready for orders. This guy's pretty quick, man. Let's get a little closer with air and extra dry. Get our stability back. Let's hammer this guy again. We got the inferno on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna bother with the barrage. Let's just fire. Oh, he's overheating now. Beautiful. Yeah, let's just move over here, get the dead fire on him. Really bad chance to hit, but whatever. He is a very light vehicle, so it's not like it's uh, that big of a deal. Just walk up here. Alright, some more Inferno. Let's see if we can shut this guy down. Yeah, slowly raising it up. Heh. <laughs> Screw you! Mm, no real chance to hit with the barrage, but we'll fire everything else. Tag missed. You nice and warm, buddy. That might be an ATM-3. I thought we were going to get that much use out of it, but... Might be able to put it on the lighter, Lance. Ah, let's just shoot this guy. Same thing. Ooh, look at those chances to hit. Should we put the broad? No, he's too fast. Enemy Bringing the, pain. the reason why I say don't put it on because he's too fast is that he just might actually go ahead and move up. over where one of our guys are. And we'll take the barrage as well. Yes, don't know how uh, skilled as a pilot that guy is, but let's not uh, give him the opportunity to mess with us. Keep on the cougar. Finally getting a bit of height advantage on him, getting a little closer. Um, we could finish him this round. Let's get this on him. Fire everything. I'm out of SRM. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we picked up four bolt-on rocket 20s, and I got a couple of them on the uh, urban mechs and stuff, so... Ooh. Light damage. Holding firm. Void system Stop. destroyed. Whose void system got destroyed? Ah, oh, shit, man. That guy's right in the way. Um. Orders. Let's just shoot from here. Put it over his head. Affirmative. Yeah, see ya. finish this up and go home people we've got what 15 dead fire left so it's 5 10 so that goes back to standard that goes to standard I'll we'll go that route Engage. starting to strip the armor Get our stability back, not burn up too much heat here. We should be able to fire almost everything, yeah. Let's leave one ER off, fire the rest. Tags on them. It's helping a little bit here. Let's get around to this side. Try and keep our fire coming in from every from the same side here. And fire it all.
So I don't think this is the right loadout for the Min Shen. I don't know. It's an Omni, so we have a variety of options. It's got pretty good heat sinking. Oh, okay. All right, Hopper. Let's get his attention, will ya? Finish this guy up, please. Copy that. Getting tired of him being here. Hammer him. Beautiful. And up he goes. See ya. Enemy vehicle you got that right. Mission successful. Okay, 215,000. That should easily cover our repairs. Uh, Hopper took a, took a wound. He'll be out for 15 days, which really sucks. Um, yeah, we could have gotten a Black Hawk, but we don't have, we could roll and, and risk it. 25, 15 heat for three tons. These might work really well on the, uh, Irinia. Okay, Streak MML3s, two, two tons. C3 unit, another one. We've got, we're using two right now. XL engine that's good for cash. Exchanger is really good. Fire control system energy. Increased weapon heat, but more accuracy. Provides plus one invasion, invasion pips ignored. Modifier to one to gunnery. Breaching shot when firing a single weapon. That's a possibility too. Gunnery support B. We don't see these all too often. I'm just going to drop it there for now. Um, recon sensors. That's a possibility. Provides additional time. Reduces enemy sensor checks by one. Remove fog of war around their vision for Lance member. Yeah, someone was saying that I should put that on the um, on the uh, LAM mech. So I'm going to take that and put that on the LAM mech and see how well it does. That could really help out our uh, our targeting. Double Goss. Um, Thunderbolt 5. Regular Goss rifle. Seven hundred and twenty meters, eh? They're nice and accurate. The damage is okay. For three tons though, I don't know. Maybe we do let's do this. And we can look at putting these two on the uh Arania for now. That's a good possibility. Let's go that route, then we'll roll a dice and see what we get out of this. Let's hope for the best. Okay, we got the Gauss rifle, a couple of mag shots. That's not too bad. One ton, damage 33 heat. Only 10 rounds, but still, that's pretty good. Um, we got the two streak MML3s with no streak ammo. They're useless, but uh, Thunderbolt C3 unit, nice. IC engine, which we can just go ahead and sell. Recon sensors, stealth armor. We might oh, just keep that. How much SRM ammo do we have? Eight, we can sell that. I don't know if we're going to be using these Thunderbolts at all. Three tons, 25 damage, six heat. It's pretty much the same as, as um, the light PPCs. Exostar lasers. These are the plus one accuracy lasers. Increased heat. Let's just get... We're not, not going to use this, I don't think. Um, but we'll keep the rest. I think this is all usable. If we can get some streaks, these might be wor worthwhile on a urban mech or so, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Alright, we'll take all this. Okay. 31,000 a bit of time for repairs. Pilots are going to be out for longer than that. Let's have a quick look at the mech bay. I want to see um, what we can do here. Let's just see real quick. I don't know what our tonnage for weapons are. Medium X-Pulse, which was 
two tons. I mean, that's a pretty damn good weapon. Uh, medium pulse lasers, two. Rocket packs are two and a half each. And then we've got this for, for heat reduction and the SRM2 with a half ton of ammo. So we might be able to just get away. Let me just see here real quick. Oh, you know what it is? We don't have a way to keep everybody keep everything cool. That's the problem. Because we don't have a double heatsink kit yet. Or double heatsinks to drop in this, right? And that's what we need. That's why it's the way it is, right? Although, if we go with... Because the Fury is a breacher. Plus one increased PPC accuracy, 10% increased range, 10% heat generation. So it'll be 16 and a half heat per light PPC. It puts this over with both of them already. But what are we at here? Heat sinking is 42. But the X pulse is still a better. It doesn't fire as far, but it does far more damage and it's just as accurate. Uh, if we pull the medium pulse, that's 12 heat. Let's just check this for a second. We could do this, take those off, and then go ahead real quick. Uh, the PPC, yeah. That'll be 16 and a half heat. What's our heat sinking now? That's flush. One and a half tons left. What if we did this instead? That's 46 heat though, right? That's 46 heat. Can't be done. We could leave an SRM2 in here. With a half ton of ammo. Or we could put a heat sink in. Well, we don't need the heat. Well, we do. We kind of we do and we don't. This gives us a bit more range, though, right? Seven hundred twenty meters. How much heat are these guys? Five each, eh? It's really nothing. X pulse is twenty. I'm at a toss up here. I mean, we could pull the rocket packs. It's only 10 heat though, but it's limited number. We got five salvos with these, right? So it's not like it's they're going to give us that much. What if we just do? Just humor me here for a second. Um. And then we can go, what do we got here? That's actually not that bad. A pair of light PPCs and an SRM2. I just feel like we've dropped a lot of DPS though. Drop DPS for range. Bonus PPC accuracy. 10% increased damage, so it'll be 27 and a half, 28 damage. It's got a minimum range. I don't know. I think at this point it's not really worth it. We gotta we gotta wait till we can get a double heat sink kit in here. We'll leave it for now. Alright, let's um you know what? I'm gonna end this episode here. And we will go with the Urban Max Lance next episode. I know this one's probably gonna be short, but uh We'll leave it here. That way we can really focus on the other, the second Lance in the next episode. I'm not going to advance the timeline at all. We're just going to jump right in the next episode. Go with the battle. And if we do really well and it's really fast, we can go ahead and do another battle right afterwards. But I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.